In this class, we are going to learn how to convert the date or date time in a particular format that is in the ISO format to some user defined format. Like in this case, I have copy pasted the ISO format of a date that is for the 31st of October 2024. It has the details of our minute seconds, milliseconds as well as the time zone. Now, if you want to show this ISO time format, including the date and time as well as the time zone to DD month and year format and followed by if you don't want to show this T rather than the user defined time format, then that we will learn in this class. For demonstration purpose, I have copy pasted this ISO format. Let me just click on this run. It will convert the ISO date time to our DD MMYY format that is like this. So our input was like this in which year was coming first followed by month number, date, so and so forth things and we have converted to 31st October 2024 followed by the time and also if you want to show the time zone that also we can do. Suppose in your case you might tell I am not getting the time zone rather only the hour, minute, second and the millisecond. Click on run. So we will learn how to create the generic integration or the mapper function so that whatever you send in the request it will automatically recognize the time or the date time format and convert accordingly. Now in this case we have not shared the time zone and it has recognized the format and it has converted accordingly. Now you might further tell I am not getting the millisecond rather only the hour minute seconds. Let me just click on run. In this case what it has done is it has copy pasted the same what we get in the input. So this condition we have not handled in our integration. This I have purposefully done in order to demonstrate whenever we don't get a input in a required format our integration or the mapper shouldn't break or error out rather it should pass on the date what we get from the source. Also if you are passing just the date and not the time and I will click on run it will recognize the date and convert accordingly that is 31st October 2024. Suppose if you share over here other than the date it will pass as is what we get in the request so that your integration or the mapper won't error out and your integrations or the extensions work seamlessly in the production. Let's quickly learn how I have achieved the same. I have created a very simple integration in which I have exposed this integration over a REST protocol in which it was accepting only one input and in the response I am just displaying the output as we had seen while testing. Let's now look at the function I have written in the mapper so that it was recognizing accordingly that date time function like this including the time zone without time zone and only the date. Let me select XSLT and the developer more. As I told this integration accepts the input and one output. Now if I expand this I have written multiple when conditions. So let's see what is the first when condition. I will click on this. So here it will just recognize if our input is of the format first is the four digit numbers then followed by one hyphen then two digit and at the end we have two digit number that is this format I am recognizing with that expression that is I am making use of this matches and it will match whether our input is having four numbers followed by hyphen two digit and followed by the two numbers. If it matches that criteria then what I am doing is first of all I am converting this string what we get in the input to the date time format. At the time of recording this class we don't have any function that is to format only the date. Even though we are getting the date, we have to first of all convert to the date time. For that, I am concatenating the string. So, if you see over here, in the case of date, we don't have this time information. So, what I am doing is, first of all, I am adding this t followed by 0000, 0, 0, 0 r minute and second to so this string variable what we get in the input that I am converting to the date time. Then, with the help of format date time, so format date time function is available at the time of recording this class. Suppose in future if you are having the format date function also available then you don't have to convert to date time rather directly convert to date and make use of format date function. So here I am telling what format I have to convert to. Here I am saying I want to convert to that is date in numbers like this will be converted to for example 31st May October sorry and the 2024 that I am mentioning over here that is D01. So suppose if you don't mention this minus 3 it will print entire month name that is October. Suppose if you want to get just October OCT 
then you have to mention how many characters you want to print that is minus 3 i have mentioned over here then followed by that the year that is date hyphen month characters hyphen year so this is what it is transforming coming to the second condition here i have considered this expression that is if my input string is following this criteria then followed by two digit number that is the month and then the date number that is two digit number followed by the timestamp t followed by r minutes seconds milliseconds and the time zone plus or minus time zone so this is handling or checking this kind of input variable that is having the date information followed by r minute second millisecond and the time zone or i am also checking in some of the cases we may not find this time zone only the r minute second millisecond we will get so i am putting over here the or condition and checking if my input is of this format if I am seeing it is of that format, then what I am doing is like we had done earlier, I am converting the date time, the input what we getting, that is I am substringing before the dot, that is I am excluding what is available after this and I am converting that to the date time and telling I want to print in this fashion, that is date followed by the month, that is in the characters followed by the year and followed by space, we won't show T, there is a space over here followed by r minute seconds we will show we will exclude the time zone as well as the millisecond also we had seen if we are getting the input other than date then we our integration shouldn't break so none of the condition matches over here like if our input is not in this format or input is not in those couple of formats that is over here not including the milliseconds or the time zone then what we will do is we will have this otherwise case in which it will map as is we had seen that when we pass bnum, it was mapping the string as is, as it was not recognizing it as a date or the date tab. Suppose if you want to know what kind of expression we have to write in the date time conversion function, you can have a quick Google over here with this keywords that is XSNT format date time. What link is showing at the top of this page? You can just click on that and have a look at this. As I was saying, format date is currently not available in our integration instance at the time of recording this class. Currently, there is format datum, so you can make use of the same. Here, they have provided few of the examples what you can provide over here in order to display the text. That is, if you want to format in this format or this format, so this format, you can provide the accordingly the expressions. So you can have a look at these expressions. Also, you can make use of chat GPT if you want to know what kind of expression you have to provide within this datetime conversion function like this. That also will help you. So following this format date time function in our XSLT mapper or in the integration mapper, we can convert the date or date time in one format to another format.